Hey, what is up, everybody? Today we are going to be doing another tournament journal vlog for River Hill Junior Tour. Yes. All right. River Hill. Um, let's see. Wake up at five in the morning. I need my beauty rest. Okay, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I need my beauty rest. So I woke up in the morning. Bye. 5.30 in the morning to be exact. And we drove to, where was it? Kerrville. Uh, Kerrville. And uh, it was uh, maybe an hour and a half drive, somewhere around there. And so we get there. There's not as many people as Fort Sam, but there's some people there. And, uh, there's some new people there, you know. Anyway, so, Austin, kids from Austin, I'm sure. So, let's see, the Greens, there. oh, River Hill is, uh, Byron Nelson's favorite course. And so it makes it kind of feel better. And the, um, no, not the normal grass, but the putting green. All the putting greens are uh, bent grass, which is actually, surprisingly, is actually decently fast. Actually, it's actually really fast. It dried out during the day, so it got even faster. And uh, so I had a little bit of trouble getting speed on the greens because if you putt from, um, if you putt from here and the hole's over here and you take it back this far... Your putt, it rolls to the hole, and then goes by. Yeah, that's how fast they are. Anyways, so it took me a little bit, so I got, and then I finally got my speed, and my swing is good, pretty good. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through all the holes, but I'm gonna tell you stuff most important that'll take up most of the time. <laughs> Anyways. So, one was fine. I'm playing with two kids that I no. I was going to play with two kids, but one of the kids weren't there, so it turned into a twosome. I played, so I'm playing with a kid that I don't know. And um, um, I got. Oh yeah, we also start off on uh number ten, and then play till. Well, what is it? Oh, we play and we end on nine. So, the front nine was uh, really good, except for towards the end, it started to get worse. But in the, I'd say, first five holes of the front nine, actually pretty good. First hole, I start off with a birdie. Second hole is a par three, I get par. And the third hole... Anyways, first five are okay, and then I get, uh, let's see, three bogeys along the way. Some of them come by emotions, and some of them is because, uh, because of, uh, setup. And I'm still aiming left and hitting it right, so that caused some of it. And there was just wrong stuff like wrong club decisions and uh, wrong club decisions and let's see wrong club decisions and setup mistakes. Those are the only thing and some emotions in there. And uh, as you, if you want me to prove my emotions, um, let's see what hole was it? Was it number one? Um, got mad because I pulled my, my second shot, like, 20 yards left, so, and I chunked the chip, so, after I chunked the chip, I slammed my sand wedge into my bag, and it gave me, uh, let's see, that little red mark right there. Good thing it wasn't a broken finger, I just punched it, I guess, with my club, yeah. Anyways, so... You can tell there's emotional problems there. That still hurts a little bit. Um, and 
let's see, the back nine was disastrous. I wouldn't say so much disastrous because it didn't turn out disastrous. I shot 78, but the only reason it didn't turn out disastrous is because my chipping got better. And everything, I was hitting bunker shots close and chipping on my stuff and making putts. That was the only reason the back nine didn't go disastrous. But I still got, I shot 38, 40. And, um, so the front nine was good. And 40 caused from, like I said, emotions, wrong club choosing and setup mistakes. And, um... Mm, that's pretty much what caused it. Let's see. Bogeys on the holes. Caused by setup. Wrong club choices. Wrong mental thinking and emotions. Yep. That's what got me for bogeys. And, uh, luckily I didn't, um, uh, luckily I got up and down. Yeah, I know. I know it's surprising because most of the time... I say my up and down is like crap, like big mound of poo, like 10%. Actually, today it was like 40%. But you know why? Because you know why? Because lately, past five days, I have been constantly only practicing chipping. And now you know why. My chipping got better. And now you know why I said my chipping was horrible. Because it can cost me... I will shot 85 if I didn't get my chips good. There, that's how I, de that's how I describe it. And, um... So pretty much throughout the whole round, it was kind of solid in the front nine. And then throughout the back nine, I started getting emotional and started to go down. But I never gave up. But... Um... Throughout solid round, I mean, getting a medal, now, right now, like, like, the first year, getting, like, in the top three is good. And I got in the top three. And, um, which was, which I'm kind of surprised about. The winner shot one under, but he's also the 12-year-old that I played at Balkans, and it's also... 300 yards shorter than Balkans. I don't know why they didn't place his back to normal tees, but um, I, sp I suppose to myself that I shouldn't ask. But So it was a little easier to play on the front nine. In the back nine, some of the holes got a little bit longer, but not that much. <coughs> and uh, so... Uh, so... Um, I mean, that's pretty much my round. I mean, let's see. Anything else I have to talk about? Mm, my chipping was good. My putting was good. My putting was good except for uh, one hole, which was 17. Yes, we start on the back line, so don't get confused. Um, it was 17. And it's, let's see, uh, bleh, it, um, I peaked, and it was for par, and I peaked and missed that putt. But I didn't get a three putt because I was getting up and down, so, so it was only a bogey. That's pretty much my own. Anything else I should talk about? Hmm. I putted afterwards. I ate ten cookies afterwards. And on the way home, we went to eat Mexican, and I ate a whole, like, that long and that tall plate of Mexican food. Then we went home and talked about all the mistakes that I just told you. So, um, I don't rem remember. Where's the next turn? Don't remember. Somewhere, I'm sure. I'll figure out maybe in a minute after this video um and so if you like this video leave a like and oh oh crap sorry i uh, one more thing um there's a tie for third place three-way tie and 
that was Arch Rival, the kid that I played with, and myself. It was tied for, what, 78. It was a tie for third place for 78. Alright, now I'm done. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment below. And click that red subscribe button. And also click the little bell. And turn on notifications so you can never miss another one of my these videos or a tournament video or practice video. I'll see you guys in the next video. And play good golf. And watch my videos. <laughs> Bye.